in a move less surprising than discovering bears do indeed use the woods as a lavatory, Ubisoft has announced the next Assassin's Creed will be Viking themed. Rumours that the historical third-person action series next costume change would involve hats with horns have been swirling around the internet for months. They murder and kill blindly. And by Odin's Raven, I caught up with the game's creative director, Ashraf Ismail, via video call with him in Montreal for a chat about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What do Vikings bring to Assassin's Creed? We specifically go to the ninth century um, uh, Norway and England. Um, and so it's an incredible time period, uh, one of the most iconic uh, cultures in history that there isn't too much written about uh, from that specific time period. Everything that we know has been written afterwards. So from a creative sense, we feel that uh, there's a lot that we can bring to the table with this fantasy. How has the lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic affected the development of this title? It's definitely um, uh, some adapting had to be done to, to kind of uh, work in this new reality. But we have a lot of incredible software. Uh, you realize all of a sudden when you're kind of pushed into this kind of context that it's it's actually quite feasible. Uh, we're, we're in quite good shape to be able to manage the way we handle our communication, our reviews. We have the tools we need. Um, so it's, it's going uh, quite well overall. Lots of other creative industries, like film and TV drama, have had to shut down completely during the pandemic. But video games development continues, doesn't it? Well, uh, game production, you know, it happens on, on computers and it happens on software. And uh, I think we're in a time period where uh, we have a lot of really powerful tools that help us out a lot. I think the uniqueness of the game industry has allowed us to still be productive and efficient uh, even during these uh, uh, really unique times. The player assumes the role of a Viking called Eivor, who's had enough of the fjords and leads his people from Norway to resettle in England, a move which doesn't go down well at all with the locals. Vikings are famous for turning up, smashing stuff and stealing things. How is that going to be expressed? Uh, of course, there's raiding. Uh, you have a long ship, you have a crew on that long ship, a raiding party that you can customize. Uh, these are characters that you meet in the world. Uh, uh, then we have the settlement, which is at the heart of the, the motivation of the journey. So we're building a new home, a new settlement in England. Uh, and then there's uh, assaulting giant fortifications, these really big set piece moments. How big an area are we talking about that you can play across in the game? Norway is quite large on its own, but if we specifically talk about England, uh, that's where the majority of the, the, the game takes place. Uh, we have uh, four kingdoms within England, so it's Northumbria, East Anglia, Mercia, and Wessex. Uh, we have uh, major cities uh, like uh, Winchester, London, uh, York or Jorvik at the time period. Lots of development teams might go on a boot camp to get an idea of what it's like to live the life of the characters in their game. Did you go on any Viking-style boot camps at all for this? Did you visit the Jorvik Centre in York, for instance, which has a very unique smell, if I remember correctly? I have, actually. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a wild place. I loved it. Odin! It's with us! We're yet to get a glimpse of the actual gameplay. So far, all the developers have released is this trailer, but we do know that the game is slated for release later this year, and it will appear on next-gen consoles.